Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Beards and Gear, we are going to check out my new studio desk. So I recently moved back into my former studio and that begged the question of how do I do my setup a little bit more efficiently than I had it before. To that end, most of the desks that I have ever had have been geared towards audio production and less creator video production, less friendly for shooting video. And I really wanted to look out to see what had come out in the last few years. And I found my own personal perfect solution in the Gator Frameworks Elite Series desk workstation stuff, which we will talk about in this video. Now, before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. Shout out to Sweetwater for helping me kind of put all of this together and answering a few key questions, which we'll talk about in just a second. But for all of your audio or create or desk workstation needs, head on over to sweetwater.com, affiliate link down below in the description. So before we can talk about the new Gator Frameworks Elite Series desk stuff and why I chose it over other desks on the market, let's talk about what I was using before. Now, for ever since I think it was 20, 2016, 2015, I had been using a couple of different audio flavored desks, the Halo, Halo Argosy or the Argosy Halo Series desk. And then most recently, uh, the Danger Fox desk. And both of those desks were really, really awesome for audio production, meaning they had the uh, rack mounted outboard gear that I used on top in a traditional fashion, and they were kind of up tall and that made the monitors where they needed to be. However, over time, I found that quite difficult to shoot things like camera down pedal demos or when I'm playing through on a pedal, um, that I want to twist and turn and have it up near me, but still be in front of the camera and being able to talk to you guys, I couldn't do that. So then I would have to move over to the couch or, you know, to a drum stool with a table and things like that. And that got really cumbersome and it just wasn't suited. None of those desks were really suited for video production, which is obviously what I do. So when I moved back here into my old studio, I, I, I had to look around and what I found was a video by my buddy, Rhett Scholl, and he kind of detailed his studio build, but in that video, he detailed what he had been using um, upstairs while his studio was being built. And he was using the Gator Frameworks Elite Series stuff. And I thought, huh, that looks almost like exactly what I am looking for, almost. Now the Elite Series desks are flavored like a mid-century kind of furniture kind of a thing with a few modern amenities like really cool cable management and some expandability and some uh, modularity that you don't normally see in studio desks, especially in this price range. Um, but what he had is this, I'll show this on the screen, and what I wanted was basically that without the top rack. And I didn't know if I could just simply not install the things I didn't want to use for my own personal setup. And it turns out the answer was, yeah, you don't, you don't have to use whatever you don't want to use as part of the Elite Series, which is pretty cool. So my setup as I have it here today is three different pieces. I have the main Elite Series desk. I have the corner piece, which acts as kind of a corner attach point to the 10U rack sidecar as well. And the solution that I needed was to move all of my rack gear to a sidecar, thus allowing me to have just a nice open playing field, if I will, to kind of just work and have pedals if I needed to, have another camera, some lights, some monitors, my boom arm that I can easily clamp to on the side, which I couldn't do this simple thing before with my any of my former desks. Um, I wanted just a flat table with some legs and a sidecar, and I got it. Now with my desk, I also did not install the keyboard tray underneath. So normally there's a keyboard tray. I don't need that. I also, like I said, don't need the rack on top of the desk. I need it just to be a flat table. And so basically I unboxed the 
elite desk and I put the legs on and I was done. Thusly, I was able to just simply put together the sidecar and bolt up the corner piece, put the legs on it, and I was done. I was literally done in about, I mean, this whole thing took me, it took me about two hours to put together, all said and done. And that's, I mean, that that is way shorter than like an Argosy desk, for example. So the Elite Series desk itself is $599. The corner piece, I believe, is $199. And this 10U sidecar is about $250, but you can get the whole thing as a package from Sweetwater for $999. And I thought that was a great deal considering, I mean, you know, an Argosy Halo desk starts at, I think it's like $2,300 right now. So this is more than half the cost of that. And I have like a whole, I have a whole thing to which I can put anything on and I can mount a camera. I have a camera mounted just to my right on the corner piece. And so I can do top down shots of the pedals that I am playing along with and knob twisting while talking to you guys right here where I normally would want to be if I wasn't talking to a camera. I like that part. Now, as far as size, I am in a pretty small room and I was nervous about how big this would ultimately end up being with everything attached. I'm talking about the corner and the sidecar. Honestly, when I got everything together, I was able to save myself room and move my desk back a little bit within the room as it wasn't physically as deep as any of my previous audio desks. And this just lent itself again to making it easier for me to shoot videos like I am doing right now. I am able to have my light, my key light up here. I don't have to ha have it super, super high up to clear my racks of gear. This is just a wonderful setup and I just, oh man, what a dream come true, honestly. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but this is exactly what I was ready to build myself before I found the Frameworks Elite Series. Really, really cool. Now there are other uh, components to the Frameworks Elite Series stuff. There's a couple of different sidecars you can get. Um, there's That's basically an entire ecosystem of studio furniture and generally they come in three different colors. I have the gray one, uh, but they also come in like a more natural finish and also like a walnut, darker walnut finish as well. But uh, yeah, this has been an absolute game changer for me and my setup as far as efficiency going uh, with recording audio, but also shooting audio and shooting the video for the audio and all of this other stuff. I really feel like I'm at a creative workstation now as opposed to an audio desk that I'm trying to make work for video, if that makes sense. I will link down below in the description, shout out to sweetwater.com for sponsoring this video. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.